Um, today I've got a USA beauty haul to show you. Um, I didn't actually buy this myself. I'm lucky enough that I've got someone who knows how much I like makeup who went out to America and bought me some bits and bobs back. Um, I just would like to say that I do actually blog online about makeup and I, yes, this is a lot of makeup, but it is what it is. I have, I have, I have makeup, a lot of makeup. So yeah, you're about to see it. So um, the two different bags that I've got are from Ulta and from Walgreens, and I don't know which bits came from where. Um, I'm assuming there's some bits that say exclusive to Walgreens, so you know, I'm guessing they might be from Walgreens. And um, yeah, I'm just. Uh, I mixed everything up in the bags because that's what I do. I got a bit excited, went through it all. So you're just going to see it as I bring it out. And um, yeah, we'll just deal with the fact that it's all mixed up. So the first thing that I got was some bits from Physicians Formula, which you can't get in the UK unless you're really lucky and you hit on some at TK Maxx, which I have done in the past. But um, these bits aren't from TK Maxx, I think these ones are from Walgreens. So um, what we've got here is the Physicians, the Physicians Formula um, Mineral Glow Pearls. So yeah, it looks like sort of a um, highlighter, I think, but I'm guessing that'll be an overspray because I have heard about Physicians Formula and their oversprays. So I think that'll be an overspray on the top there, but um, it still looks really nice. So I'm looking forward to giving that one a go. Then I have um, the the Happy Booster Blush, which everybody seems to get whenever they go to America. Um, so I did ask, I, I did ask for that one. I did want that. Um, basically, it's a it's a pink blush, pink blush with hearts on it. But it's it's cute. It's I love hearts. I know how that sounds like. Oh, I love hearts, but yeah, it is pretty. I like it. So that's that one. Then we've got um, physicians. I don't know why I can't say physicians, physicians, physicians formula nude wear. How cute is that? That is so pretty. It's like a sort of a rose goldy style, um, style sort of like leathery packing around it. Um, and it's got a cute little bow. Oh, it's so nice. I really like that. Um, so that has a highlighter blush, a powder and bronzer. I don't know what the powder is. It's all going on my face. It's all going on my face. Um, and then we have a Physicians Formula Argan Wear Blush, which again I did hear about before, and I did ask for, but I got it, and it looks lovely. That's what I got from Physicians Formula. Then there is this um, Alme, 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 Alme. I don't know. I don't know how you say it, but a blush. Um, now, I have seen their eye um, products where you get them sort of scented for different colour eyes and things, um, but I've not tried any of their blushes. I did get hold of one of their, their sort of little eye palette things in TK Maxx, um, and I did really like that. So I'm quite excited to try the blusher as well. I know it's a lot of blush. You're probably thinking it's a lot of blush, but, you know, it's what it is. And um, we also have... I'm not sure how you say that. Is it Noni Cream Color Prevails Watercolor Eyeshadow Palette? Looks like a little um, nude eyeshadow palette. Um, it says it's not for sale anywhere in but Walgreens, and then it's got a number to call just in case you find it anywhere else. Sounds a bit crazy. Um, obviously, they're very protective of their eyeshadow. They don't want it anywhere else but Walgreens, so don't be buying it anywhere else except Walgreens if you want. But I haven't been into that, I haven't touched it or swatched it or anything like that. So um yeah, I've heard I've heard mixed reviews of their products, but I'm interested to have a little go of that. Um then the two L'Oreal eye palettes, just get a look at that in. Ooh, lovely sort of nude eyeshadow palettes, which I'm all about. I love nude eyeshadow. Can't get enough of them, I've got millions of them. Why not have more? Why not have more? So, yep, I've got palette one and palette two. And they look pretty nice. I can't wait to get into them, which I've been trying not to like, touch anything until I filmed this. So I'm going to be touching it all after this. Touching it all. Mm. 
Then we have a Milani bronzer XL, and they're not kidding, that is pretty big. That is that is one big bronzer. That is XL. Um, all over glow. It's got um, two parts on it, lighter and a darker. It's a large bronzer. So, yeah. Right, things to say about the bronzer. And then we have a couple of Wet n Wild bits. Wet n Wild Fergie. Um, this one is a. I'm very sorry about the light in it. I'm using natural light, but it's like it's super bright. It's like washing everything out. Um, but that is a mattifying powder. So. Again, I haven't got the mattifying powder, so out of all of the makeup I have, can't believe I don't have a mattifying powder. So I'm intrigued to give that one a go. Put that over there. Then a Wet n Wild Fergie. Um, I'm not sure if this is a blush or a bronzer because it's sort of like coloured both. Um, it's like sort of a goldy, browny, pinky mix of tiger print is that tiger i think that's tiger print um again it's fergie and um does it tell you what it is oh it's a shimmer palette so it must just be a bit of everything yeah put it on i'll see what happens see how shimmery i get could be exciting um and then the last um wet and wild thing is a wet and wild eye um, palette from fergie um this is desert festival I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about this, pretty excited, especially this shade here, it's like a sort of a, like a orangey brick style shade, I don't have any sort of, I don't think I've got anything else that colour, and I've got a lot of makeup, so that's quite impressive that I don't have anything else that colour, so I'm, I'm really excited to try that, um, which you will be, pretty quickly. Then we have, oh, another Physician's Formula that got lost in the bottom of the bag that is i'm sorry i'm just like looking at them myself not even bother showing them the camera but yeah it is a so a nude nude natural nudes um shimmer strip for the eyes not anywhere else for the eyes but that looks pretty good and uh again excited to try it can't get them here anything anything i'd be excited with anything you could stick physician's formula onto like a cleaning mop and I would have been all over it then we've got a cover girl little eye quad and um, oh the lights washing it all out there we go you can sort of see if I sort of tilted on a little jaunty angle there but um yeah you've got one two three and four I'm assuming it'll probably just because you can't count there's one two three and four there um and number three looks really nice like a little sort of shimmery shade um number two it looks a really nice sort of cool toned pink which i think will be interesting to have a go of but yeah excited about those then we have two of these from ulta we've got whatever that one is it's an eye palette thing but it's really jazzy isn't it i mean look at that look at that that's just, that's just jazzy all over that one is so we've got I'm sure you can see colours, I don't need to tell you the colours, but yeah, jazzy. So, looking forward to giving that one a go, and a baked eyeshadow, I do love baked eyeshadows, um, so that's like a little duo there. The uh, This side looks a bit like it's got little bits of purple sort of flecked through it, so I think they'll work really nice together, which is probably why they're a duo, but uh, yeah, they look nice. So then the last, oh, I'm saying the last two, there is, this is not the last two. There's one more because, like, I mean, I don't have enough makeup, so I mean, I might as well add more to it, yeah. So we've got Milani, and um, this is one of the illuminating face powders, and just look at that! Oh, it's all little roses in all different colours. Oh, it's so pretty, so shiny, so nice. So yeah, I've been wanting to try this for quite a while, and I know that you can get hold of Milani in the UK um, by Beauty Bay. But um, it's from America, came all that way, just for me. I've got that one. And then the last two bits, which I'm really excited about, are the Lorac Pro Palette number two. I've got number one. So um, 
You would think that was all my sort of pro needs covered, but no, no. Not when you have a makeup blog, got to have it for the blog, got to have it for the blog. So this, oh, look at it. It's so thin and compact, but it it's, looks nice. Right, and then, da, 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 da. Da, da. There we go. Look at the shades. They're upside down because I really don't want to be sticking the mirror and showing myself, even though I'm on the camera. Weird, but you know, you know. But they look so pretty. So nice. Let's just look at it for a bit. There we go. Right. <laughs> but that, I've wanted that for so long since I saw it come out. But you can't buy it in the UK again. Um, Because... You can get Sephora orders from the US over the UK, but you can't get Lorac at Sephora. So, you know, they're just making my life difficult. So I had to wait for people to go out there. And then the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty. Um, and this is, it is pink. It is pink. It is fairy. It is pretty. It is naturally pretty. And the colours in this are so nice. They're all mattes and then there's a sort of a transformation shade, which is that one. Um, and I think you put that over the top of things to make them a little bit shimmery. Or you could just use that as an inner corner highlight and then just have like loads of matte shades. But look at it, look at it. So yeah, I'm really excited. And I know there's a lot, I know, but yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that because now I'm going to go touch these things, touch them so bad. I know how that sounds and I'm not even sorry, I'm not. So there we go.